Time now for your questions about that permanent mask mandate that OHA says will actually be temporary. OK, so last night we played sound from a public hearing. People blasted the agency for even considering a permanent rule mandating masks indoors, and they said they do not care if the state says it plans to rescind the rule when cases drop. I have no longer have any faith in OHA and the mask mandate today. And before you tell me that a permanent mandate can be canceled at any time, I don't care. Like we said, they don't care. The OHA says the temporary rule they have in place right now ends after 180 days. That's February 8th. That's a Tuesday. They also say state law prohibits them from implementing another temporary rule for the same purpose. They can't do that in any situation, including this one. They have to either drop the mandate or make it permanent. So hearing that, Joe wrote, it would be irresponsible for OHA to let the temporary rule on masks lapse after the 180 day period during the Omicron surge. Their only choice is to adopt the mask rule as a permanent rule, which then allows them to repeal it when it is safe for the public to do so. And then he added, yes, the terminologies are awkward. Sarah was more blunt. She wrote, many Oregonians I know are in favor of the permanent mask mandate because we know it's temporary. We're not stupid, like we said, blunt. Then there were those of you who had some follow up questions about this. Todd wrote they need to, at a minimum, give some kind of a metric when the mandate would be rescinded, especially if they're going to call it permanent. They need there needs to be a safety measure or law when it would be rescinded. It's almost like putting someone in jail without a sentence or a time frame. Well, Todd, fantastic timing. You are not the only one who had that question. In fact, here's a clip from that press conference with OHA today. As for benchmarks, I think, you know, we have um, some general considerations written into the rule for what will be considered for rescission of the rule. As I stated, focusing on hospitalizations and hospital capacity will be key amongst those. Um, those can impact the, the ability of our healthcare partners to deliver care to all Oregonians, regardless of whether they have COVID-19 or other things. Picking a specific number is difficult as we are currently still on the rise of this current peak. So the translation there, the permanent but temporary mask mandate rule will take COVID stats into account when OHA is making the decision to rescind that rule. But right now they're not nailing down or at least not releasing any specific numbers that they'll use to make that call. So then Scott had a question. He wrote, they are telling us that the mask mandate can only last 180 days and cannot be issued again without making it permanent. It seems like we've been wearing masks for two years. Was there any kind of mandate prior to the current one, Scott? Awesome point. And the answer is yes, there was. It came courtesy of Governor Brown's executive order, which made masks mandatory from the start of the pandemic until June 30th, 2021, when she celebrated Oregon's grand reopening. Providence Park, remember that? Well, a few days, or excuse me, a few months after that, Delta hit. And then cases surged again, and the Oregon Health Authority basically took the reins on this, implementing the current mask rule. Now, in light of this debate, though, we asked the governor, why not take the reins back? Why not implement another executive order with an expiration date and then kind of bypass this OHA permanent mess? And her office wrote back basically saying they tried to avoid executive orders as much as possible because basically, they're not exactly that popular. And they wrote, when the governor lifted most executive orders in June 2021, although we knew the pandemic was not over, we began the transition from managing the pandemic under emergency powers to managing the pandemic under ordinary government processes like agency rulemaking to address COVID-19, as we would with any other established public health challenge. They add those processes incorporate public input, which executive orders do not. They think that's really important. So then another viewer, Bronwyn asked, instead of creating a new law for mandatory masks, why not change the old law by eliminating the 180 day rule? We're going to end with that question. We think that's a great one. Bronwyn, good idea. The next legislative session starts February 1st, so lawmakers would have a week to make it happen before that February 8th deadline. Now, those sessions do tend to be jam packed with bills and issues, I'm sure you know, and political divides have been strikingly wide in Salem in recent years. 
So we're not going to say it's not looking good. We'll just at this point say we'll definitely keep you posted on any updates.